in this video we are going to look at the cell level protection if you remember we have created this small piece of data in the previous videos that was dedicated to data validation now think about it this is the form that we wanted to share with our colleague and we want them to fill in now we will clear this form so that people will able to punch the values in just assume that we have data all over the sheet and there are some calculation that we don't want people to look at we just want when we share this worksheet with them they will be able to put up values only in these cells not anywhere else so that is why if we go with the previous option that we have seen that is review and if i click on this protect sheet and if i put a password let's say abc and i'll press okay again i am reconfirming the password okay now if i try to do anything over here it don't let me do anything that is perfectly fine but what if if i want to put a value over here the same problem which i don't want i want that people will able to put the values here and they will not be able to go anywhere else because there may be some formulas at different places and the content so they should not tamper with that so that is why first i'll unprotect it now as i shared the thought with you earlier that by default every cell is logged in the worksheet and protection will be applicable to all the log cells so that is why we are not able to do anything on any cell but what if if i change the status of these cells have a look of these cells from lock to unlock and then if i go to review and protect sheet so the password will be applicable to only on these white cells not on this grid let me change the color and highlight it to yellow so that we can easily differentiate it now we need to change the status of these cells from lock to unlock the way is first we need to select all these cells then we have to right click and we need to go to format cells there is a direct shortcut to go to format cells which is by pressing control 1 and it will open the dialog box for us in this on the right hand corner we have protection tab under the protection you can see as we have discussed every cell is logged that is why it is checked for these cells also so i will uncheck this and i will press okay now just to cross check i'll go to any white cell and i'll press control 1 that is logged so that is okay because we need these cells to be protected and these to be unprotected now i'll go to review and i'll click on protect sheet but before giving the password it is very important to understand that it says that allow all users of this worksheet to select lock cells select unlock cells both are checked think about it these are the permissions that you want to give to the user who will get this protected worksheet so the first whatever is checked it means that is permitted so do you really want that when you send this worksheet so that people will able to select the log cells it means all the white cells no we don't want them to select it because in any case if the cell is logged and the protection is there people will not able to edit it but the point is if any cell that is logged and contains a formula and people can select that cell they can actually see the formula in formula var which i don't want that is why i need to uncheck it second thing select unlock cells do you want them to select unlock cells it means the yellow cells yes i want them to select it so i'll keep it checked and here i'm putting a password 1 2 3 i'll press okay i'm reconfirming the password 1 2 3 i'll press again okay now you can see that my cursor was shifted over here because i cannot select these cells i'll show you i'm moving my right arrow like this and you can see it will keep moving only in these cells and if i try to edit anything over here i'm trying to write it over there but it's writing there because i'm not able to select it see this I hope this sounds very useful to you also in many of the cases. Now just open up the exercise of this and try to do this by yourself. Thank you.